so yeah, got to season two, got about halfway through it, franchise froze on me, and I didn't save it. So we got to start over, so take two, right? I guess. We'll see if it goes better. How's everybody doing today? And yeah, like I said, this is take two of this Cubs rebuild. I started it and then it froze on me. I've had that issue. I don't know what the deal is, but we're going to get into it. If you guys want to see some more rebuilds, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and you like baseball content. And also in the comment section down below, let me know which team you guys want to see next and what you guys thought about today's rebuild. Tomorrow, there will be a Royals franchise video, 100% guarantee. Also, there probably will be another video, so there'll be two videos for you guys tomorrow. So I hope you guys are excited about that. So with that being said, let's just get into it. This is my favorite team. I'm kind of excited about it. I definitely want to make a lot of changes. There are some players that I do like, some players that I don't like, and we'll talk about them right now. So here we go. To start with, Kyle Hendricks is staying. Lester will be traded. I like him in real life, but in this franchise, he's going to decrease very, very quickly. I want to trade him while he still has a little bit of value. Quintana will stay. Darvish, if he does well, he'll stay. If not, we'll trade him away. Cole Hamels is most likely going to be traded as well. I want to see if Adbert Alzale can get featured maybe by season four or season five. Um, he's really the only pitcher prospect that will grow quick enough. Um, I do like the looks of Oscar De La Cruz for the future in real life, as well as Braylon Marquez. Um, but for this rebuild, they probably won't grow quick enough. Brandon Morrow probably will be traded. Carl Edwards Jr., it all depends on if he does well. Some seasons he does very, very well. Some season he does poorly. We'll see if he gets the good side. If he stays stays like good performances, we'll keep him. If not, we'll trade him away. Pedro Strope, same situation. If he does well, we'll keep him. If not, we trade him. Brad Brock, Mike Montgomery. Basically, if any player does poorly, they're most likely out the door. Um, I'm not really too keen on any of these players. I'm, I, the bullpen for the Cubs is very, very poor. Craig Kimbrell is going to be our closer. Yes, we got him. I'm excited about it. Steve Ciszek, same thing. He does well, keep him. If not, out the door. Wilson Contreras is our catcher. Don't have to worry about that. Rizzo, first base. Don't have to worry about that. Second base, we definitely need to find a new second baseman. Ian Happ in real life is doing so bad. So, 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 so bad. I don't understand it. Um, but in this franchise, I know he grows very, very quickly. So we're going to move him to second base. He's played second base before. I think he's going to be a good fit right there. Um, we're also going to move him to the major leagues because he's our new second baseman. Um, third base, Bryant. Zobrist will stay for the season, see out his contract, and then he's probably going to leave. He does very well. He usually hits for very good average. And obviously, David Bodie. He's a good platoon player. Baez is good. Don't even get me started on Anderson Russell. I don't know why the Cubs kept him. But Nico Horner, good prospect to look out for. Season 4, Season 5 definitely should feature in this rebuild. He could even potentially be our second baseman if Hap doesn't do well. So we'll have to wait and see. Schwarber. <sighs> I thought he was going to be good. I thought, you know, he's coming back from that torn ACL. He lost weight. He focused on fielding. Focused on hitting. Focused on getting some speed. He looked decent last year, and this year it looked like he got worse. I don't understand it. He doesn't look good in left field. He's not really swinging the bat well. I just don't get it. So Swarber, probably a player I look to trade, even in uh, this franchise. He doesn't really hit above 250. Yeah, he gets you some home runs, but eh. Albert Almora Jr. hits for contact very, very well. He's going to be our center fielder. And Jason Hayward looks good he's b potential he usually hits about 260 270 in franchise um so if he does that we'll keep him if not we'll trade him his contract's pretty big um, we also have cargo who for a season should do quite well as our left fielder if we do trade schwarber so i got trades in mind i want to get some trades done there's going to be a bunch of trades let's 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 get into it all right first trade uh xavier Cedeno and brandon morrow for Chris Davinsky of the Astros. Small contract, arbitration in the next couple seasons. He's gonna be our closer or even in the middle relief. He does very well, he grows very quickly. I thought about getting Ryan Presley, but he's hit or miss, and I don't really need any more hit or miss pitchers in the bullpen. So we're going with someone I can trust, Chris Davinsky, he's joining the Cubs. All right, John Lester, Johnny Field, and PJ Higgins is gonna be traded for Sean Manea, Manaya whatever it is. He's got arbitration for basically the whole rebuild, which is awesome. His contract's going to stay low. We're opening up some salary space because we do need to sign Baez, Rizzo, Bryant, and a couple other players to kind of longer deals. This works out perfectly. We get a new lefty. We get a good player with potential. I like this trade. 
All right, we're getting a long reliever, Zach Godley. For when we did the Diamondbacks rebuild, he actually was really solid in that role. So we're going to put him there. Um, we're going to get rid of Kinsler and Descalso, two players that I'm just not really keen on keeping. Again, we're opening up some salary space, which we're really going to need in a couple seasons. All righty, Gioscar Amaya, Kyle Schwarber, Addison Russell for Chris Paddock. This one's giving us a starter that's going to become an ace in a few seasons. It's really going to help us out in that starting rotation. And on top of that, we really won't have to pay him that much. So I'm liking this deal. I think it's going to be great. I'm loving it. So I think that might be all the trades for this season. Let me make the, sure the lineup and pitching rotation are all set up. And I'll show you guys what we're looking like after uh, to start season one. Alrighty, last trade we're actually going to be making is Cole Hamels, Cole Roeder, Alec Mills for Alex Gordon and Jorge Soler. Um, I, I saw we needed an extra outfielder. And the only way to get rid of Cole Hamels was to bring in um, Alex Gordon. I don't really want to, but that's just the way it is. Um, I also signed... Alexander Palma. I don't think he's MLB ready, so we're gonna send him down. And then um we're just gonna send down Alex Gordon. I know, I know, not the best, but it's gotta happen. So with that being said, this is our lineup. You guys can see how it looks here. I like it. I think it looks really good. I'm actually gonna move Almora down. I know you're probably thinking I'm crazy, but that's just the way to do it. Um Wilson Contreras in the five hole. Um, just like this, it's, it's going to work. Trust me. It always does. Um, so that's how the team's looking. I like it. I think it looks really good. Pitching rotation looks solid. Everything looks pretty straightforward here. Season one right there. We're going to get to draft day. See you guys in a sec. All right. Season one's draft. We have a 59 overall 93 potential shortstop Larry Blackwell. Um, not too bad. Enrique Francisco, 83 potential 72 overall pitcher. His stats look pretty decent already. And then a 76 reliever uh, for his potential, Sammy Andrews, who's 61 overall. So three decent players. Um, Blackwell, I don't know if he'll feature. If he grows, he will, but we'll have to wait and see. Season one, we've won the division 162, taking on the Braves in the division series. Let's see, league leaders? No, but we do have an award. Chris Paddock won Rookie of the Year and a gold glove for Baez. So let's take a look, see how things went. Zobras hit 272. So in his last season with the Cubs, not too bad. 22 home runs too, okay. Not bad at all. Rizzo, 273. Bryant's 300 with 32 homers, okay. Baez, 256, not the best, but you know, home runs and RBIs are definitely there. Wilson Contreras had a solid season. Cargo, I mean, not bad. Definitely not bad. Maybe bring him back for one year. Um, Almora, 270. And hey, we're 242, not the best, but Ian Happ hit 263. Our bench, okay. Well, I mean, we do have Soler who can move to left, um, which would probably definitely boost up his rating. Pitching rotation, we got Hendricks. Minea did well. Both Hendricks and Minea did well. Quintana, solid as well. Darvish, eh. And Paddock, oh boy. Those are nice numbers. So really, Darvish was really the letdown there. Godley done, did well. Montgomery, not so much. Strop struggled a little bit. Same with Edwards. Brock did very well. c -Shack did well. Devensky did well. And Kimbrell did well. So that, ooh, those are those are nice things to see. I doubt we had too much growth in any of the prospects. Alzale is up to a 73, which is actually pretty good. Um, let's see, anybody else? Amaya, 63. Okay. Um, Horner's up to a 67. And that's that's about it. We got Palma, who we did sign, who's up to a 67 as well. So, so far, I mean, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Let's see how we do against the Braves. Facing elimination. We won. We're taking on the Dodgers now. So, Dodgers, we're facing elimination, and we get eliminated. We get swept. So, it's okay. It's season one. I like what I saw. Definitely some growth. Definitely looking at players I want to keep um, that I already know, you know. But um, let's get into the rest of the offseason, see how things go with contracts. Nobody retired from the Cubs. Okay. Um, exclusive negotiations. I did like what Brock did. I really did. Um, do I think he's going to do the exact same? No. So that's why I'm going to offer him one year deal. We're going to go one year three mil. Um, c -Shack struggled a little bit. Oh, actually, no. He did well. He was the one that did well. So we're going to go one year seven mil. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We're going to change that. Because he's not going to be a closer. So we'll go one year seven We'll just go eight mil so we can see if we can get them locked up. Kimbrel, we're going to offer a two-year deal. 
Um, we'll boost it up a little bit. We'll go like 13 and a half. No, we'll go 13. He should sign that. Um, man, Cargo did well, but I don't think he's going to do that again. We do have Solaire. So I'm going to I'm gonna keep Solaire around um, just because I think he's going to do well. Strope, we'll let go. If we don't see anybody else, we'll uh, sign him. And that's it for ex exclusive negotiations. So let's keep going. Let's make this quick. Um, going into the arbitration. Um, everybody should get it. Um, even these guys, just because I don't really want to sign anybody else in free agency. And then contracts wise, um, everybody should get one as well. So yeah, that's the off season for now until I show you guys who we signed to start season two. All right, season two, we added Kevin Pillar to a one year deal as our platoon outfielder. Uh, Pedro Benitez was a reliever. We'll see if he grows or anything um, as a one year deal. Um, Robo Garcia uh just filled them uh for the team let's see carlos aswahe is a platoon player for us kind of like our daniel descalso uh, prior to when we traded him enrique francisco's our pitcher that we drafted in the first season um the rest of these players aiden aldrich um he was in free agency a b potential 19 year old at 60 overall decided to pick him up and larry blackwell is another player that we drafted outside of that um there really wasn't too many moves in the off season. Oh, there wasn't there was a move that they're not showing. Um and I, oh there it is. Dallin Batances. We brought him in. Three year deal. He's our new setup guy. I really like that move. I think it's gonna really strengthen our bullpen. You guys can see here Davensky's still here. Batances is here now. Kimbrell, our pitching rotation was very strong last season. Um I feel like our offensive lineup got a little bit better. You know Carlos that's why he's got a little bit of contact. Um, so is going to be moving into left. Um, and then we got Pilar there who can help us out in the uh, outfield whenever needed. When we quickly look at some of our prospect, Alzale is probably the most, the close, the cl person who's closest to making it to the rotation. Um, no one really for the bullpen. And then for the actual lineup, um, we're probably looking at Nico Horner or Alexander Palma. One of those two. So we'll have to see how season two plays out. I'll see you guys at the draft, let you guys know how everything went. I don't think we'll make any trades. I kind of still want to see how the team works. Um, see if we need to really end up trading anybody after season two. But for now, that's the team. See you guys in a sec. Seasons two's, season two's draft didn't go too well. We have Steven Kellogg with 73 potential. Eh. Dan Harrington. Meh. Uh, the, big, the big one to look out for is John Law. Uh, 84 potential here is a closer. Could definitely help us out in the bullpen um, in the future. I think that'll be a good a good arm to have. Alrighty, season two, 99 and 63. We're taking on the Mets in the division series. Um, we got a couple league leaders. Baez. Okay. Oh, I missed the second one. Um, and then awards. We got Baez for MVP. All right. And Darvish for gold glove. So it looks like Baez had a really good year. We'll take a look at it. Almora, almost 300 as our leadoff hitter, which is great to see. Chris Bryant did very well. Baez, 49 home runs, 129 RBIs, and 282 average. Solid. Really solid. I like to see that. 36 doubles as well. Rizzo hit 271. Contreras hit 270. Asuaje, 258. Not bad. 245 for Hap. 242 for Soler. And Hayward hit 273. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Pilar did pretty solid as our bench uh, outfielder. Bodie and Caratini. So let's take a look at the pitching. Hendricks, I mean, he's always consistent. Paddock, though. Whoa, okay. Um, Sean Manea didn't do too bad. Um, would like to see the ERA a little bit lower, but I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, Jose Quintana did very well, and Darvish didn't do too poorly either. Godley, not so great. Montgomery, man, didn't Godley do very well last year? Yeah, he did amazing last year. I don't know what happened. Devensky, hmm. C Shack, oh wow, yikes. Um, Edwards did very well, Batansis did very well, and Kimbrell did very well. So these three, very nice. The rest, eh, not so much, not so much. So let's take a look into the playoffs. Let's get into the series against the Mets. All right, we're facing elimination. So, oh, game seven. All right, we'll do we'll do the game seven here. See how or game five, I should say, not game seven. We are at Wrigley Field. We're going to do, yeah, we're going to go with Hendricks, um, see how things go. The Mets, they added Mike Moustakis, but everything else looks the same. All right, no run scores after the leadoff double. We don't even get a base runner. 
Um, okay, we do get that. Do get one there. Can Hayward deliver? No. And then obviously the pitcher is going to be pretty difficult to get anything going. But so far, pretty quiet game for both teams. Two run shot for Ian Happ. That's a good way to start the game for us. The offense at least. Solaire tax on one. It is a three nothing game. Okay, let's keep it going. Single for Hayward. At least gets the pitcher spot up, so we don't have to worry about it next inning. Um, okay, there we go. Chris Bryant makes it five runs. That should be plenty. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hendricks, get me out of this inning. There we go. Hap, Hayward. I should have pinch hit for him, but that's okay. We're going to bring in the closer. Kimbrel, can he lock it up? He does. Perfect. There we go. We're moving on to the next series. Taking on the Dodgers. Um, we will not let Kyle Hendricks pitch because he's going to be dead tired. We'll move him. We'll move him there. He should be good by then. And then let's take a look, see how things go. So game one, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. All right. We are in the World Series taking on the Astros or the Red Sox. So I'm cool with Chris Paddock starting game one, but Kyle Hendricks has been lights out. So we're going to keep it like this. Let's get into it. Astros Cubs World Series. And it's off to a great start. What is it? 3-2. Game 7 World Series time. Let's get into it. Let's. We are at Minute Maid Park. Hendricks. All righty. So we're going with Paddock. All right. Chris Paddock. Woo, taking on, I don't know, Lance McCullers. Um, yeah, let's just, let's hop into it, see how things go. Looking, uh, we'll take a look at the Astros lineup in a second. First and second for Contreras, bases loaded. S Y. hey, fly out, perfect. All right, um, their lineup looks the same. They just added Jonathan Lucroy at catcher. All right, Paddock gets out of that. A triple, come on, Hayward. Sack fly brings in the run, that's all we needed. One run game, bases loaded, no outs. Fielder's choice. A run scored. Okay, so a tie game. All right, come on, guys. Let's get the runs going. Something not for them, for us. All right, Paddock's about half. So through five, that's not terrible. All right, he's done. Not going to take any chances. Will Harris comes in. Very quiet for both teams. We're going to go to a righty. We're going to go C check. Perfect. Solid inning. Triple. All right. Sack fly, please. There it is. Woo. Um, eighth inning. We're going to go to Batansis. Batansis. Sack fly tie game. All right. So he gets out of it. Ninth inning. Come on, guys. A walk. We're not messing around. Come on, Edwards. Another walk. A sack bunt. A walk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gets us out of it, Kimbrel. There we go. All right, Hap. Oh, off Justin Verlander. He gives us the lead. 3-2, an error, and double play. So it's all up to Kimbrel now. Can he do it? He does, and we win the World Series. Jason Hayward is the player of the game. Let's go see the playoff and World Series MVP. So playoff MVP was Wilson Contreras, and Albert Almora Jr. is the World Series MVP. He hit 424 with three home runs. And 406 for Contreras with three home runs as well. Um, solid. There we go. World Series in the second season. And, I mean, the heart of our lineup didn't even do that great. Um, Contreras did well. Almora did well. Um, Hap, pretty solid. Six home runs in the postseason. Soler, not too great. Neither did Hayward. Um, let's take a look at our pitching. I think the pitching really carried us. Hendricks did very well. Paddock did very well. Manea, not so much. Quintana, solid. Darvish, I mean, not terrible. Not terrible at all. Um, Godley got rocked a little bit. Montgomery, same thing. Devensky, same thing. Ciszek. Brock was solid in his work. Edwards, very well. Uh, very good as well. Um, Batances, lights out. And then Kimbrel, I mean, he, he, he did his job. That's all that matters. World Series, Season 2. There we go. Let's hop into Season 3 now. Let's take a look at some of our contracts that we need to look at. No one retired. Um... Okay, so looking at exclusive negotiations, Ciszek didn't do that great. Um, he wants to be a closer, and I, I can't really promise that. Quintana, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Quintana. I'm going to offer him like a two-year deal. See if we can get down to six and a half a year. Brad Brock struggled a lot this year. Like, a lot. Um, but I'm, I'm going to try one more year. Because I, I know that bullpen arms are kind of 
difficult to come by. We're going to go with these two. Um, and then we're going to simulate into the next portion of free agency. Arbitration wise. Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody should get one. Maybe not godly because he's struggling a little bit. And then we look at the contracts. It's all young guys. They're definitely getting contracts. So let's hop into it. We won a World Series. That's awesome to see. Let's go to season three. Alrighty, season three. This is how we're looking. Robbie Myers was a catcher in free agency. Um, his stats don't look too bad, so we picked him up. Um, Edgar Vasquez was a player in free agency as well. A B potential, 60 overall left fielder. Um, might as well pick him up. Pedro Benitez was a player that we signed last year, so I don't know why he's popping up there. We brought back Brandon Morrow for a year. Um, I know he's 36. We needed a bullpen arm. Might as well just bring him in. Brian Back was a pretty bad hitting shortstop, but we'll sign him for a prospect deal. John Law was a player that we drafted last season. He's in AAA. He's the closer. We brought in Michael Brantley on a one-year deal. We kind of needed a platoon outfielder. He's actually one of our better outfielders, so we're, he might end up might end up starting. Um, a draft pick from the second season. Enrique Francisco is up to a 74. Um, let's see. Blackwell as well. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it. Oh, Sammy Andrews was another player too. So this is season three. So yeah, this would have been season one's draft picks. This would have been season two's draft picks that you just saw. Um, this is the lineup. You guys can see it. It looks pretty good. I like the way it looks. Um, Brantley is a, a good addition. Definitely a huge addition to the team. Um, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to do pretty solid this year. Um, no, I want Jason Hayward in. <laughs> what? I don't want him like leading off, but I want Jason Hayward in for sure. Um, but yeah, we'll go with that. I kind of like the looks of that. Um, and then you guys saw the pitching rotation here. This is what we're looking like. So yeah, season three. We just came off a World Series victory. Let's see if we can do it again. I think we we got a solid squad. I bet. Whoa, Carl Edwards Jr. <gasps> Oh, I thought we lost Craig Kimbrell. I was like, where did he go? Squad's there. I like it. I think we could uh, definitely win another World Series with it. Let's get into it. Season three, we were 101, 101, and 61. We won the division, and we're taking on the Dodgers. So, let's take a look. League leaders, Ian Happ had the most walks, and Chris Paddock had the most wins. So, Chris Paddock's acquisition's looking really good for us already. A couple gold gloves. Brantley and Hayward and Chris Paddock won the Cy Young. Oh, man. Nice. So, Michael Brantley, he's starting to decrease, which is expected, but he still had a pretty solid season. Almost 280 average, 15 home runs, 60 RBIs, 167 hits. Pretty solid. 35 doubles, too. Um, his most in a couple seasons. Amora hit 283. His potential's gone down, but he had his best offensive season so far. Chris Bryant did very well. Close to 40 home runs, 113 RBIs. Baez, 35 home runs, 112 RBIs. Rizzo, 34 home runs, 100 RBIs. Um, Contreras, almost 300 uh, average with 24 home runs, 70 RBIs. Soler, eh, you know, not too bad. Hap did quite well uh, for Hap. Usually he hits about 270. And then Jason Hayward did pretty solid as well. The bench did bench things. Not too bad, not too great. Like, not horrible, not great. Um, Kyle Hendricks struggled a little bit. Um, but... It looks like our starting rotation is getting really solid. So Chris Paddock, 21 and 5, 209 innings, 176 hits, um, 18 home runs, 72 walks, but 274 strikeouts, 279 ERA, 1.18 whip. Chris Paddock is nuts. Shamanea didn't do horribly. That's decent for a four or like a three starter. Darvish, same thing, pretty solid. And Quintana, not too bad either. So the starting rotation besides Hendricks ERA looks really, really good. Mike Montgomery did very well this season. Very, very good. Godley, not too bad. Um, Edwards, a little rough. Devensky, great. Lights out. Uh, Brad Brock, not too bad either. Um, I'll take that. Kimbrell was struggling, so we moved him out of the closer spot. Betances struggled a little bit. And there's Moro. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. See how that works for the playoffs for us. Um... And then let's take a quick look at some of our prospects. Pitching-wise, Al Zale is not too far off. So if Hendricks or Darvish or someone starts to fall off, um, we can always trade them. And even Enrique for uh, Francisco is getting close to being ready to come up to the bigs as well. Dwayne Underwood um, as well. So we got a couple players who are looking to make a push into the, the big leagues. Um, we have John Law here who's 77 overall. His stats don't look terrible. So he could potentially be moved up. 
Miguel Amaya. Um, what else we got here? Evans, 69, meh. Um, the guy we signed, Aiden Aldrich, is a 65, though. He was a 60 at the beginning of the year. Horner, 73, which is awesome. Um, so maybe by season five, he'll be ready. Uh, looks like he's starting to go down in potential, though. That's not good to see. Larry Blackwell. Okay. That was one season. He really, really grew. Um, we got Velasquez here. And Palma, 74. So we got some, we got some players we could bring up for sure um, within the next couple seasons. So let's get into it. Dodgers series. We lost. We lost. Uh-oh. We win. And we get eliminated. So we don't even get it out of the first round after a you know a World Series victory last season. But that's okay. We still got two more seasons. Um, I feel like we do have some money to play with. Uh, we've managed the money pretty well. So let's get into it. See what negotiations we have. Um, let's see here. Davinsky. I think Davinsky. Yeah, he did really well. So we probably will need a setup man. So let's let's. He wants eight mil a year. Let's do. Yeah, I guess we. He'll be our setup man. Because I'm pretty sure Batanz's contract is up. Um, let's take a look. Batanz's. Does he have one more year? Did I give him one more year? No, that was his last year. Okay, perfect. So we don't have to worry about that. So Batansis isn't coming back. We're going to bring in Kimbrel. If we can get him for like a year, I'll take that. Uh, Brandon Morrow is going to decrease. I know he is. There's no way he's not going to. Solaire, I'm cool with bringing in for like uh, two years. If he's cool with that. 10 mils, quite a bit though. Michael Brantley is going to start to decrease. Anthony Rizzo, I do want to bring back. Um, three years for six and a half is not bad at all. That's a solid contract there. Brad Brock. I'm going to let him walk and Mon Montgomery. We're going to bring in on a small deal as well. See if we can get him down to that. So there's exclusive negotiations done. It took a little bit longer than anticipated, but you know what? Let's get into it. Um, and then arbitration. Yeah, everybody's going to get it. And then contracts. I'm assuming everybody's going to get it as well. Oh yeah, for sure. So yeah, everybody's going to get one. Let's hop into season four. See if we can get another world series. Alrighty, season four, we added one bullpen arm, I believe, and then one double A closer that had B potential. So that was it for free agency. I'll actually, I'll show you guys um, the closer that we found it was Barry McMillan, 71 overall, B potential. So there's that. So this is how we're looking in the bullpen. Uh, we added Robbie Erlin. Uh, he looks pretty solid for a lefty. Um, uh, we brought up John Law, uh, one of our prospects that we drafted. So there's our bullpen for now. Um, you Darvish might be a not that's Quintana. You Darvish might be a player I trade because he's still got one more year after this year, or I just let him see out his contract. I just know he's going to decrease very, very quickly. Um, Palma's getting called up to the bigs. And then that was it for changes to the lineup. I thought about bringing up Horner, but I know he's, he's just not ready yet. Almost, but not ready yet. Um, so yeah. That's the team. That's about it for changes. So yeah, season four, I, I hope we can make it to like at least the NLCS. That's the goal. So we'll see how season four goes. Um, I didn't show you guys season three's draft picks because they were atrocious. So let's get into season four, see how it goes. All right, deadline season four, we're bringing in Fran Mill Reyes. He's gonna play left field for us. Jorge Soler, I think is hitting under 200, uh, which is not good. Yeah, he's hitting under 200, not good at all. We're also trading uh, Philip Evans and Carlos Asuaje, which means Nico Horner's coming to the bigs. So that's the trade we're making. Um, we're gonna move Fran Mill to left, and we're gonna we're gonna make some moves. We're gonna make some moves. So we're gonna edit him. We're gonna make him in the left because he's a beast and he turns into an MVP caliber player every single time. So if you don't get Fran Mill Reyes, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, we're gonna put Palma in left for that. Fran Mill needs to move up. Uh, let's put him there. Uh, Fran Mill is like is is a musket. Like if you don't get Fran Mill Reyes, I don't know what you're doing. He is always a good pickup for franchise. So team's looking all right. Let's take a quick look. See how the CPU did with the draft. Um, oh, a 90. Okay, Boyd Rivera. He's 59 though, so I doubt we'll see him for this. So yeah, there's the draft. 
Um, there's the trade we're going to make. Framil Reyes is joining us midway through season four. Let's see how it finishes. All right. Second half of the season, we slowed down a lot. We are 95 and 67. We made it as a post, uh, the postseason as a wildcard team. We're taking on the Padres. Um, we got some league leaders. Sean Manea. Okay. All right. And then what do we got for awards? Framil Reyes, Silver Slugger. And Paddock and Hayward won a gold glove. So let's take a look at the lineup. Um, it's looking like our offense was kind of quiet. Framil Reyes, though. He's a beast. Um, Hap, okay. But yeah, let's look. Ooh, Hayward, okay. 25 homers. All right. Um, but yeah, it's looking like our our uh, offense went a little quiet this season. Um, Paddock, not too bad, not too bad. Manea did very well. Um, Hendricks, still not doing bad at all. Um, his contract expires at the end of the rebuild. Quintana might be time to move on from him. We'll have to see. Darvish still pitching well, so we might keep him. Um, two long relievers did very well. Patances did well. Edwards did okay. Erlin did very well. Law did pretty solid in his first first season. Um, very, very good. Devensky. Oh, those are gross numbers. Those are really good numbers. And Kimbrel. Um, maybe move Devensky there. Uh, let one of these guys take over the setup role. Um, but we will definitely be need, be in need of a, at least one bullpen arm. Um, I'm thinking we let Quintana walk. And then we would bring in Alzale or Francisco. Probably Alzale. His stats look a little bit better. Um, let's see here. Anybody else that like stands out for prospects? Blackwall's grown so fast. I wish we had more time for this rebuild to get him involved. Because he looks like he'd be really good. Nelson Velasquez is looking okay. Brennan Davis is looking all right. Um, Alexander Palma, he's a he's a late bloomer. It usually takes about till like 28, 29 for him to grow. So Chris Paddock, game one. Game, well, only game. I mean, it's the wild card. Let's get into it. Wrigley Field, Chris Paddock's going to take the mound against these Padres. Um, their lineup looks the same. <laughs> no real changes. Of course, Machado goes deep. Why, why wouldn't he? So can we strike back? Um, doesn't look like it. Uh, all right, so it's still 2 nothing. We do get a single. Bodie's playing second. Hmm. Who's he playing second instead of? Hap? Why isn't Hap playing versus a lefty? Strange. Oh, double play? Really? Oh, that's rough. All right, Paddock is done after five. It's a three-run game. Uh, we're going to pinch hit for him. Uh, versus a lefty. Yeah, why isn't Hap starting? I don't understand that, but okay. First and second one out. I mean, we do get a run in. We do get a run in, so that's good. Um, Let's go with Godley. All right, it's not a good start. They get their run back. Rizzo, Fran Mill. Ah, come on, guys. A double to start it off. Base is clearing. Oh, you know what? Season four. I'll let the CPU take it over. We lost seven to three. That's okay. That's definitely okay. We got room to grow. We're, we're going to have some salary space to work with. The Astros defeated the Dodgers. We need some coaches. That's all right. Um, but yeah, we are going to have some salary space. I know we will. Um, but let's look at these exclusive negotiations. Um, I don't know if we can afford that. Uh, we should actually because Hayward's contract expires and as much as I want to bring him back I think it's time to let him walk um, Almora I do want to bring back we can do that um, Contreras we 100% need to bring in it's a big contract oh boy we we might be in some trouble here uh, if we can afford it we'll go with these those three for now um, team option we're gonna decline the option just because I know it's it's a big contract. So we're going to go with these three. See how it plays out. Um, and if we can afford anybody else, I'll let you guys know what we're going to do. Arbitration wise, everybody is going to get arbitration. Uh, contracts wise, we shouldn't have any big ones. It's all going to be small guys. So yeah, uh, let's see what we can do. I didn't realize we had that many big contracts coming up. Already last season, we need we need like a bullpen arm. Like not nothing too crazy, but just something to help us out. Mark Sagunas for Jonathan Holder. Um, I think we're over now. No, we're actually at 25 perfectly. So this is the lineup. 
Uh, we brought back Hayward on a very small deal. Six million is not that bad. Um, everything else is the same. Palma's going to start. Horner's in the lineup as well. Uh, bench bat, but he's still there. Edward Elzele is making his debut this season. Everything else is the same. Um, yeah, same pitchers, same everything. I'm looking for maybe improving somewhere. Uh, realistically, it's probably right field that we would trade for. Um, but I really like this team. I think I think this is a good team. Not too much needs to be changed. So let's get into it. Let's see how things turn out in season five. Alrighty, season five, we won the division 94 and 69. Let's see how things played out. Again, some league leaders. Shamanea pitched well. It looks like awards. Rookie of the year, Adbert. There we go. Let's take a look at the lineup. Almora, Bryant. Okay, Baez did pretty solid. Rizzo, okay. Wilson Contreras did pretty well. Framil Reyes, okay. Ian Happ, there we go. That's what I'm looking for in Ian Happ numbers. Alexander Palma and David Bodie. So again, looks like the, the offense went kind of quiet. Chris Paddock did very well. Minea did uh, extremely well. Jeez. Um, Kyle Hendrick, uh, Yu Darvish, and then Alzale. Alzale won rookie of the year with these numbers? Really? Okay. I mean, I'm not going to take it away from him, but Mike Montgomery. Oh, man. Whoa has been a very consistent bullpen arm for us for the last four years, and I like it. Carl Edwards Jr., yeah. John Law, it's looking like we got our setup man for the future for sure. Betances did very well. Holder did very well. Erland did unreal. And Devensky did very well as well. So it looks like our bullpen like carried the team for sure. Let's take a look at some of our prospects. Enrique Fernandez is up, or Francisco, is up to an 82. He was one of the players that we drafted. Um... Let's see who else were players that we drafted. Um, John Law was one. Barry McMillan was someone we signed. Uh, Aiden Aldrich we signed. Blackwell was a player we drafted. He looks very good already. 74 at the age of 21. So that's awesome to see. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Let me, let's get into the game against the Dodgers the series against the Dodgers so we take the first one the second one and we sweep them with ease we're taking on the Nationals um you Darvish is pitching so let's go boom uh boom boom nope yeah yeah let's do that so let's get into it I don't want to play it I want to sim it game one we lose game two we won we're a win away. There it is. We're in the World Series taking on the Yankees. Let's get our squad all lined up. So number one is going to be, actually, let's do that. Yep, let's go like that. Whew. World Series time against the Yankees in season five. And we're not in a good spot. 3-1. Oh boy, Wrigley Field, you don't know, Sean is taking the mound against these Yankees. They have Peraza, Joe Adele, Mookie Betts, Torres, Stanton, Voigt, Chavez, uh, Narvaez, and of course the pitcher spot. So they go one, two, three, solo home run, Almora gives us the lead in the first. Then another solo shot, this time by Reyes, two nothing. So let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Uh, Palma, Almora. Bryant. Bryant singles, nothing this inning. Still got that two run lead. Can, okay, we got a one run lead. One run lead it is. Still got the one run lead. Come on, we need we need more. Uh, Manea's pitching quite well. Don't want to jinx it, but he's doing well. All right, so far so good. Palma versus Buck Farmer. We got to walk. Can he steal second? He does. Almora. Someone knock him in. Oh, come on, guys. And that's the game. Minea went nine innings. We had less hits than him as well. So going into, what, another elimination game? We, I mean, you got to play it out. We're in the last season. We got to win a World Series. All right. So now we're going to Yankee Stadium. Chris Paddock's taking the mound. 
Um, is there anybody that's like really struggling? Ooh, our three and four hitters. Let's let's let's, let's change this up a little bit. Let's change it up a little bit. Um, Ian Happ struggling, so let's go to David Bodie, and then we'll bring in Nico Horner. Nico Horner is getting the start against Jamison Tyone. A single, fly out, a walk, first and second for Contreras. Runners thrown out. Ah, David Fletcher. Seriously, he's gonna go deep. One nothing. That's not a good start. We'll get a single though. Steal second. Nico Horner. Ah, unable to bring in the run. All right. Still one run game. It's close. We, just, we gotta we gotta score soon. Okay. Two nothing. Three nothing. Five nothing. Really bad. Um. Very very bad. Anything. Team. Where where's the bats? Why is everybody just gone quiet? There we go. By as we get one back. Um, he's done, unfortunately. Let's go, boom, boom, boom. Perfect. All right, frame mill. Do it again. All right, there we go. That's what we needed. I know he didn't hit a home run today, but he hit one last game. So, two outs. Nothing happens there. We're down three, down four. We're down four. We're down five. So yeah, that's always good. Where's where's the team? The team. Where's the team at? Where? Why are we we not scoring runs? What's what's going on here? Why are we allowing runs? <sighs> All right, first and third with two outs. We don't we don't get the runs in. All right, cool cool. I like it. Last chance to score seven runs. Okay, that's a good start. There's one. All right. You're teasing me. I don't like it. That's the game. All right, cool. We lost the World Series, unfortunately, which sucks. It does suck. Um, what do we get here? Playoff MVP? Yeah, Almora. So Almora was pretty consistent for us. I like that. Um, unfortunately, Baez went cold. Rizzo went like below free, like below zero. Like he just disappeared. Ian Happ disappeared. I don't understand that. Like what's going on? With like two of my best players just deciding not to show up for a World Series and the playoffs even. So, unfortunately, only one World Series in this five-year rebuild. Two appearances. I think one NLCS. We made the playoffs every year, which is expected. But overall, team's not bad. Uh, Paddock's locked up for quite... No, oh, no, he's not. Ooh, that would be the biggest issue right now is bringing in Paddock um, and then... Darvish's contract expires. You got Enrique Francisco to step up. You have Underwood. You have a couple other pitchers stepping up soon. Um, the bullpen should be good for the most part. Um, you got this McMillan guy. Your catchers are good. Um, Miguel Amaya wasn't signed again. Um, he's probably still in free agency, to be honest. Uh, Aldrich is coming up soon. Horner's only going to get better. You got Blackwell there as well. Nelson Velasquez is almost an 80. I mean, you got some prospects to really take over for players who, you know, you could let walk because they're aging. Contracts are running out. Um, pitching rotation. I'm pretty sure Hendricks contract expires this year. So there's some space opening up. Darvish is a $20 million contract that you could go and invest in Paddock. Um, then you can just find somebody else. You can bring up Francisco to take Hendricks spot. Boom. S starting lineup set. Starting rotation set. Bullpen could use a little help. Get a little younger. Maybe let Patances walk. Bring in somebody else. Davinsky looks like he struggled in the postseason, but during the regular season, very lights out. Erlin's looking like a guy you can definitely put in a closer spot if you really wanted to. Um, John Law's looking like he's going to be a really good closer too. So it's like you got some good arms. You could definitely build around. Um, right here, I mean, you still got some really good players. Um, probably one or two players that you could move um, and let like Nico Horner get some more time. But overall, I think the team's really good. Uh, Alexander Palma is a late bloomer. He's only going to get better. He usually hits mid 90s. So you definitely have a good right fielder for the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this Cubs rebuild. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. You guys have been amazing with the support late, lately. Like this past week was one of my best weeks in YouTube history. Like I'm talking like very comparable to like when the game first dropped. You guys have been amazing. I can't thank you all enough. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you're new. Like I said, hit the like button in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about the video. What do you think maybe you would do a little bit differently? But other than that, guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.